the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update Podcast for Sunday, April 24th, 2022. Sinking Like Titanic, Season 4, Episode 14. As always, please see the show notes for our important links and updates, and please consider reviewing, rating, and sharing this podcast if you find the information helpful. So, CEO of DraftKings is telling the public that selling the stock will be the biggest mistake of their life. I believe it's come down about $10 a share since he said that. All the while, he's selling millions of shares. Um... It's unbelievable to me what a criminal hypocrite this guy is. Those of you hoping, praying evil prayers, drooling, and cheering for a negative outcome with the SEC are working against your own interests, you are either evil, an idiot, a liar, or all of the above. Those of you with bonus margin, especially, please consider increasing your positions in active trading on the pilot market. This will help us develop a more robust model for future regulatory and other uses. See the thread on the notice board about bonus margin to understand the potential future financial benefits as well. I'm not asking for reckless trading activity, just more participation if possible. The ASM learning market is also very helpful, so if you only have a learning market account, please consider increasing your stake in trading there as well. If you are riding with Liar Leon and the reprobate rodents, you're on a one-ticket, one-way ticket to the lake of fire. It is a near certainty that all of these things are tied together, so when you wonder why this is taking so long, please ask them about it. You can use the ASM uh, market um, through a web browser on your mobile, on your mobile device or your internet-enabled device. If you don't have an Apple device, that's the only one we have a um, an actual app for is the uh, ASM to trade both sides of the market is on iOS. There is a web app, but you can always use a browser. Uh, My legal vow of poverty in the trustee report from February on exemptions will ensure that no funds or assets will ever be above those limits. Any income or assets above those limits will be promptly donated to World Vision or other Christian charities, um, and that's a perpetual commitment. Anything below those limits is subject to the 30-year SBA lien, effective February 14th, and legally recorded February 28th. So any attempt to try to to, um, do any damage to me is a waste of time. So get your head out of your butt and move on. It's never going to happen. So Leon would not agree to a recorded call in Costa Rica with the company attorney, thereby violating the terms of service. He never once appeared before any court, not once, always using uh, lying lawyers to do his dirty work. He did not address um, the court with his uh, address change. Any mail that is sent to the address of record with the courts bounces back. It actually happened uh, several times, and I have proof of that. This is exactly what he claims I did wrong when I was moving from Costa Rica to Houston in 2008, which caused me to miss the amended complaint and then forced the default through his lying scumbag, scoundrel, reprobate, hell-bound lawyers. So, wow, that's uh, really something how uh, now at this point in time you appear to be hiding because, uh, you know, you know what you've done is wrong, and uh, your address with the courts is wrong. So uh, surging inflation looks like the May uh, May reset for the I-bonds is going to be above 9%, probably 10%. Um, I think inflation is closer to probably, <clears throat> excuse me, probably twice that much. It's it's probably 18% at this point. Um, so there's another example of, a poor example, of um, proving our point with the big three league um, being financed through NFTs. Uh, just this, this just shows that the market is looking for an alternative uh, method of financing. These concepts are inferior to the one we've developed. Um, Again, it all comes down to a single example to bring all this work home. So, uh, or to to a successful and a profitable conclusion. There are three names attached to most of our troubles, keeping us from reaching our stated goals of nearly 20 years. 
Seth Leon, who works at the um, at UCLA, was the original liar and perpetrator of evil, along with his henchmen, responsible for violating my uh, rights under the Constitution for a fair trial. There's I didn't even get to answer the admitted complaint or even speak in open court. He's also responsible for triggering the first failed attempt with the SEC to shut us down in Fort Worth and almost certainly has had a hand in the present matter. He works at UCLA Crest for anybody who might to maybe go pay him a visit and ask him why he's uh, harming his interest along with about 950 other people, not to mention sports in the world in general. There's Greg Lucchesi, who formerly um, lived in Santa Rosa, California, who actually wrote me and lied to me about his being a supporter of ASM. Now he's hiding behind the alias 707 NorCal 707 on Reddit and um, doesn't have the guts to ever have faced me when I asked him many times to do a video, ask me anything, along with the rest of this bunch. And he's presently hiding somewhere else. And then there's Dan Arcand, who's no longer with us. ASM is one of the greatest inventions of all time. I have no doubt about this. Uh, it was given to me a nobody from nowhere. That's what I'm calling myself because that's the reality. I look just a southern boy from Louisiana, small town. Um, I have no doubt this is one of the greatest inventions of all time. You know, I'm just a channel to get it out into the into the world, and uh, it all hinges once again on putting together a single fundraising sample. So, the original liaring and extortioner was Seth Leon. That's number one. Didn't work out. Will not work out. Has never collected a cent. Never will. Um, tens of thousands of dollars upside down, if not $100,000 upside down at this point. Legal bills that he's paid. Then came number two and number three, as I mentioned above, who thought they could tell half truths to the SEC, which is exactly what happened, and it will come out in time, uh, and cash in at the expense of everybody else. That didn't work either extortioners and liars will burn in hell so you've been warned um, the bank for international settlements that's a central bank of all central banks the uh, one of the speeches given recently talks about worldwide inflation which is what I've said in the last couple or uh, probably last few months in the podcasts and so if the central bank of all central banks is saying worldwide inflation is uh, here to here for the foreseeable future then you can count on that being true um, so the job market, very strange things going on in the job market. Um, once again, there's a, a lot of remote work going on, people moving around, cutting their costs. Um, production is not anything close to what it needs to be to absorb all of this uh, currency floating around worldwide. People have changed their habits. They've learned to consume less uh, so they don't have to earn as much. I'm one of those, and I know quite a few other people who have done the same thing. So this is a permanent shift in the way things are going to work in the future. There's also a lot of lying going on in terms of the numbers. Um, they just don't match up with people's realities on the ground. Uh, we're still having periodic issues with order crossing on both sides of the market. I'm, I'm watching it very closely. Um, I would suggest that you go and cancel all of your open orders if you have them and place them again. Um, at this point, because I, it, it, I'm not sure how many of these maybe are so far down in the queue that they don't get executed. So, uh, if you do have any standing orders, please just cancel them out and place them again. And I think that might help clear this backlog. So, the beta for ASM was put up in 2003. The development in terms of concept goes back a couple years before that, uh, 2000. One is really when the sketching started. I remember I was doing all that when 9-11 uh, happened. So 9-11-2001, uh, I was in Costa Rica, and I was working with Ace to put the design together. So it took us a, a little while to get the beta up in 2003. And I said before, uh, my hard end date is 2023, December 31st, 2023, which is the end of next year. That's 20 years, um, actually more than 20 years of commitment to this. Um, that's that's enough uh, in terms of my contribution um you know it's uh that's that's a good part of somebody's life and that's all i'm willing to give in terms of direct contribution um it's paid a middle class lifestyle and often less than a middle class lifestyle i've had to make up for it in other ways take income from other projects and put it into this along the way so it's it's not been a uh, any sort of financial windfall for me it's just maintained 
a middle class lifestyle. Anybody that's um, known me will attest to that. <clears throat> will tell you that's true. That's you know seen how I lived uh, along the way. It's not been any any kind of fancy lifestyle, and that's fine. It wasn't my ambition. Um, it was to put something new out into the world and get it to work. Um, if you want to, if you're an ASM stakeholder. Uh, meaning that you are one of those 950 roughly people that have stock grants and you want to see this through to a profitable conclusion, please help Alper and Chad resolve the legal issues, uh, as I've explained a few times. Um, anything short of that happening and there's, it's just going to stay stuck. It's not going to it's not going to move off of this rock. So, uh, you know, get off your butt and do something. Uh, contact help at allsportsmarket.com and I'll route it to them. So uh, on uh, Friday, DraftKings published a uh, sustainable. <laughs> this is <clears throat> this is really humorous. To uh, a sustainable development report. That's uh, that's that's hilarious. Sustainable gambling. Yeah, there's no such thing. Uh, it's predatory by nature. So uh, make sure you start grooming your um, your addicts in elementary schools because you're going to destroy them early. So DraftKings is sinking like the Titanic. Um, the stock price is now in the mid-teens, probably going to go lower. Uh, it's not profitable, has never been profitable, never will be profitable. The entire market is cannibalizing itself. Um, again, the offshore guys have a permanent advantage because of the mentioned reasons I've stated many times. They're far more experienced. They have better um, lines, which is the price, basically. They don't report tax and um, all of that. So that's a permanent market advantage that is never going to go away unless you enforce the Wire Act. And if you enforce the Wire Act, then you have to shut everybody down or you're just a bunch of hypocrites, which is the case. The entire legal system is a... Uh, totally cocked up uh, bunch of lies and ba- it's just it's so unbelievably dishonest uh, it's probably one of the biggest disappointments I've ever had in my life is just realizing how corrupt that entire system is and how untrustworthy it is um, I I have zero confidence as I said I've canceled my voter registration I just I'm done with the system um, the whole thing can frankly kiss my ass I don't believe in it anymore um, I've tried really hard to to believe in it, I've I've done um, everything a human can do to participate with the tools I had and 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 believe in it, and all it's done is stab me in the back. So now I hope it dies. Frankly, it deserves to die. It's uh, it's all crap. So sorry, this one's a little bit of a bummer, but this is how I feel about these things. Um, you know, if you had would have been through what I've been through, you'd feel the same way. In fact, you'd probably given up a long time ago. I don't think most people would have gone this far with it. So, um, anyway, that's it for today. If you uh, if you uh, have a moment, please take the time to rate, review, and if you think this might be worth sharing with somebody else, please do that. And again, the, uh, see the show notes for any uh, important links. Uh, and updates. Thank you for your time, and I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.